Hello and welcome to Beruda Beast, another drawing tutorial. I am Ian from Beruda Beast, uh, and today I will be showing you how to draw some spring chickens. So hopefully that'll float your boat. Um, we've done a few other uh, drawing tutorials already on Beruda Beast, so there's uh, three, three or so others that you can uh, sink your teeth into after you've done this one. Uh, they're all equally stupid and as daft as this one's going to be. Um, so enjoy those. Um, uh, and uh, we're, we're as mad as a box of frogs here at Build a Beast, so hopefully by the end of the video you'll have a, a great picture, but also a very silly one uh, to, uh, to put a smile on your face. Now then, like I say, today we are drawing spring chickens. Uh, usually spring chickens are, are what you call sort of young chickens and used to only be available uh, in spring, funnily enough. Um, but this is Build a Beast, uh, and we don't draw what's normal. So our spring chickens have got, to put it mildly, a spring in their step. In fact, their step is a spring. So after that very weird little start, we are going to go through the things we need today. So you're going to need one of these fellas, your humble pencil. Very easy, excellent. And uh, uh, I'll be using this uh, silvery fella um, it's just because he's got a sort of clicky end and it doesn't need sharpening halfway through the video like this one would do. So, but any sort of pencil will do. Um, we'll also uh, uh, make use of a rubber, like so. And you've probably heard me, possibly heard me in the other videos bang on about how much I love this particular rubber. Well, guys, oh, disaster strikes. This happened the other day. But don't worry, I've got another one on order. And uh, hopefully the new one will be twice as good as this one ever was. So uh, we're moving on. Don't worry. Um, and a black pen. I'm using this artist sketching pen. But you can use any sort of uh, pen. I'm just using this one because it, it shows up uh, well on the camera. Um, but anything like a biro, a fine liner, felt tip, any of that jazz will suit you well. Um, and of course, something to draw on. A piece of paper. Uh, I've just got a blank piece of A4 printer paper. So anything like that will do absolutely fine. Okay, so take up your weapon, your pencil, your pen, uh, pen yeah, pencil at this stage. We'll go on to the pen later. Take up your pencil, and we're gonna start drawing our first chicken. We're gonna draw a couple today. Um, so let's start with the first one. I'm gonna come roughly in the center of the page, and I'm gonna do a bit of an oval shape that's sort of on its side, all right? So let's make a start with that. And don't worry if your oval is a bit, a bit of a weird size or shape. I mean, that's sort of overly sort of shape. Um, to make it a bit easier for you guys to see on the camera, I'm going to make it a bit bigger, but you can make yours any size you like. Uh, I'm just going to go a little bit bigger than that. So it's a little bit clearer when we draw some of the details later. Okay. Marvellous. Look at that. Fantastic. All right. So we've drawn that oval. That's going to be the main part of our chicken's body, and now we're going to uh, we're going to go for a slightly smaller oval within it, uh, and this is going to be the chicken's wing in a bit. All right, uh, it doesn't look like much one at the minute, much like one at the moment, but um, there we are, something like that. Don't worry if it's not looking perfect. It's all about just having fun, uh, and we can tidy a few bits up later. Okay, now chicken's head. So I've got the uh, the right hand side of this oval along here i'm going to come up from there you can if it helps you can draw a little bit of a line we won't be using that line later but just just to help you come up and then i'm going to come over to the left a little bit so a little bit in from the edge i'm going to draw another circle uh, well uh, not an oval but a circle this time and it's going to be i don't know roughly the size of a of a five pence piece or a penny piece depending on how big you've uh, drawn your uh, ovals but just draw a nice reasonably sized circle there Okay, all right, so uh, we're done, great. No, no, not really, not really, I'm just being silly. Um, no, now we're going to come, you see where this sort of curve on the body of the chicken comes round onto the chicken's chest? We're going to keep that curve going, and I'm going to curve out and back in to join up with the right-hand side of this circle here. You'll see what I mean here. So you can even start, if it's easier... Uh, starting at the top, I'm going to come down and curve round. 
All right. And then we're going to do a similar sort of curve starting on the left hand side of the circle. And it's going to join onto the body here. And I'm going to come down and curve and join on to the body of the chicken. All right. My chicken is looking like he's going to be a fairly, uh, fairly chunky fella, but that's all good. Uh, cluck, cluck yourself, Adam Barker. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, all right. So let's do the beak next. Okay. So roughly halfway across this circle at the top that makes up the head. We're going to start slightly inside the circle and you're going to do a beak coming out. It's a sort of curved beak shape. You'll see what I mean here. Curving out. And then I'm going to curve back in like so. Okay. Don't go too massive on the beak. Otherwise, it'll end up looking like a heron or something like that. But um, don't worry. You can go, you go sort of whatever size you feel is good. But um, we're going to go vaguely chicken beak sized. Um, and then on the underneath of the beak, just here, we're going to curve round like a teardrop shape on its side. You'll see what I mean here. I'm going to curve round and then join on sort of halfway along the beak. This will be the sort of under half, underside of the beak or the bottom half of the beak. All right. You'll see it will look more uh, uh, sensible later on when 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 we uh, uh, start rubbing things out once we've drawn in pen. Um, if you're just joining us today uh, so far, then uh, welcome. I'm Ian from Bordebeast, uh, and today we're drawing some spring chickens. Uh, they're all going to be pretty stupid, but don't worry. If uh, all we've done so far is draw one oval, second smaller oval, a circle, and join the the body and the neck onto the uh, uh, onto the, uh, the the head and the body together, even. So um, yeah, and and if you draw, join in with this tutorial today and you finish the drawing at the end of the day um, and you want to colour it in, it'd be awesome. We'd absolutely love to see some of your drawings um, so please do post your drawings uh, or tag in your drawings to at Beast Art on Facebook or at Beast on Instagram be awesome to see okay carry on with this then so we're still doing the beak and we're just gonna where we've got the beak top of the beak finishing there and there's a gap between the two we're just gonna join on in a bit of a curve there okay now we're gonna draw on what's called the wattles underneath the beak which are two uh, two big fleshy bits that hang down underneath. Um, you'll you'll, you'll recognise them once I draw them. Probably sound a bit weird what I'm saying at the moment. And basically, we're just going to draw two big circles starting underneath the beak, the bottom of the beak. We go one circle there. Okay, and it can overlap this sort of line we drew before. And then a second one, or the, to show that there's a second one, we're just going to come slightly to the right of the circle we just drew. And curve out like so they're often sort of bright red in color um, they can actually be different colors depending on the chicken I think you can get marooned I think you can even get sort of blue ones and all sorts so um, yeah but I mean the ones you'll see in cartoons and stuff are often red um, right let's throw on some eyes we're gonna go some big big googly goggly eyes uh, and I'm just gonna come to the top of the beak and I'm gonna start roughly where the beak meets the head and you can make these eyes as big as you like go crazy with it if you want I'm going to draw a second one just to the right of the first one I drew. Don't forget to put a little pupil in. This one's looking fairly shocked, but that's all right. You probably will be. Uh, great. So hopefully we're all keeping up all right with that. Um, little fact for you. You know, there's more chickens on Earth than people. So um, I would say be nice to chickens, because if you're not, well, they'll be able to beat you up. There's plenty of them. All right. Let's uh, let's draw the comb, something called a comb on the top of a chicken's head. Again, like the wattles, they're kind of a weird, like, fleshy bit on top. Um, I'm afraid I'm no chicken expert, so I can't tell you exactly what it does, uh, other than it looks pretty cool. So what we're going to do, coming in between the two eyes we've just drawn, we're just going to curve up and back a bit. And again, you can make the comb as big as you like. Basically, it's going to look kind of like weird, uh, wobbly fingers the way we're going to draw it. So I'm going to make like these little weird fingers getting smaller as I come down. When I've done maybe three or maybe four, I'm just going to join them on to the head. Okay. Kind of weird, I know, but that's all right. Okay. Now, whilst we're uh, here, we're going to draw some feathers onto... You remember earlier I said this was going to be the... the uh, 
the wing on the chicken well what we're going to do is we're going to start halfway along the oval and I'm going to curve down and inwards you see here like so and then we're going to draw these sort of wing feathers and I'm going to draw in like so out do another curve line coming round out and then maybe one more at the bottom and it's just going to curve up in there and you'll see later when we go over in pen we'll rub out certain bits and it will leave uh, what looks like wings left over that's the plan anyway um, okay let's add in the suggestion of feathers so it could take ages to draw all the feathers on it on a chicken they've got literally hundreds of feathers and this is just a cartoon we don't want it to be too detailed and take forever to do so we're just going to draw some give the suggestion of feathers and a good way to do that might sound a bit weird but we're just going to add on a few little v's all right if you just add them on randomly maybe some one or two overlapping you put some further down the body maybe a couple at the back and it might not look exactly like feathers but it just give, gives you the suggestion of feathers which again when we rub a few bits out it'll look a bit clearer now this chicken shape mm, don't know looks kind of weird at the minute let's give this chicken some tail feathers so we're gonna come along the back of the chicken and towards the back of the chicken I'm just gonna kick up some tail feathers see what I mean here and I maybe give them a little bit of a zigzag coming down maybe three getting smaller and join it on there we go that's looking a bit more a bit more chicken like okay and now I say this was a spring chicken um, did you hear did you I've got a little joke here did you hear about the hen who could only lay eggs in winter she was no spring chicken hey eh? no anybody okay not to worry we'll carry on uh, we'll, we'll keep going let's give this guy a spring though and by that by a spring I mean literally a metal spring that's gonna give her the boost and the, uh, the energy to spring up okay so to do that I'm going to start on the bottom of the chicken I'm going to start over to one side easy as cherry pie I'm just gonna come down and we're gonna do a looping spiral coming down okay it's gonna be bigger loops at the top it's gonna taper as you come down okay so you'll see what I mean here nice decent sized loop to start with and then as it comes down it will get a little bit smaller a little bit smaller and there we are okay it's looking a bit narrow that spring at the minute so let's just come a little bit to the right of where we drew the first line and you're just going to follow those loops that you drew a moment ago don't worry about overlapping things that's absolutely fine but you're just going to follow that same line down and try and keep it roughly parallel along the way but it doesn't matter too much really I mean I say keep it roughly parallel mine's not at all but that's fine and you come down and down now when you get towards the very bottom it's going to get narrower and narrower as the spring gets thinner and it gets to the very end it's going to taper to a point see what I mean okay great that's pretty much one one of the uh, uh, chickens largely done there uh, as far as the pencil side of things goes so all we might just do as well is just give it a bit of movement add in a couple of lines so I would recommend just firing a firing a line down there tapering in with the spring maybe another one on the other side a couple of lines maybe a couple at the bottom and then it will give the impression of movement of it sort of firing upwards a couple of little humps here you can put them in randomly see how you go yeah, great lovely lovely cool that's one spring chicken done let's do another one and we'll do this one over on the left of the page a little bit you can do it on the right if you want that's fine um, and we're gonna start off same sort of way I might draw this one slightly smaller we'll see start off in fact I'll draw it down here and we'll keep it roughly the same size but uh, start off with your oval again okay so I might do my oval on a little bit of an angle so it's sort of firing up that way if you want to help yourself draw the oval on an angle what I'd recommend is just drawing a slightly diagonal line maybe uh, I'm going to draw my diagonal line along along there sort of thing okay don't worry how long it is really it's just a guide 
now I'm going to draw my oval. So I could have drawn a, a line through the centre of that oval there. And you see that one's more sort of horizontal onto the page. This one's on diagonal. I'm going to draw an oval using this line as a guide. And that will help my whole chicken later when I draw it be on an angle too. Okay. Don't worry if it's not perfect, uh, perfectly equal above and below the line, doesn't really matter. Okay, oval number one, great. Let's uh, let's go for oval number two. Now I'm actually going to bring, you see this circle here, that's pretty much in line with the edge of the edge of the chicken there. I'm actually going to bring the circle on this one. It's going to be facing the other way, so the circle is going to be on this side of the chicken, not that side, not the right hand side, but the left. I'm going to bring the circle back a little bit, so it's a little bit more coming towards the centre of uh, this oval. Okay, you'll see what I mean here. Nice circle there. Great. Okay. And this time we're not going to have the uh, chicken's wings coming down flat on the body, so we're not going to draw another oval for the wings. We are going to uh, have the wings sort of flapping up a little bit. So to do that. What we're going to do is starting roughly halfway down your uh, oval. So you start roughly where the line comes across and come, come in from the edge a little bit. Maybe a similar sort of distance between those two bits as those two. Okay. And we're going to come curving up. We're going to overlap this top line. Curving up. Okay. And then when we get up here, we're going to stop. And we're going to start giving, like we've got kind of the sort of big feathery fingers down here, we're going to do the same coming in from this side, but coming inwards. You'll see here as I come in, following roughly the curve that we just drew, and then out. And they're going to get smaller as they go down. I'll maybe do four of those. Okay, great. Now then, let's join the body to the head. It's a similar thing to before, but this time we're going to be curving underneath the body, up and round to draw in the front of the head. So I'm going to do that now. Curving back. Lovely. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to come from the right-hand side of the head, curving down to join the body. Okay. Marvellous. Marvellous work. Lovely. Okay. Um, do you know the record number of eggs that a chicken has ever laid in a day is seven in one day? So uh, I'd like to put out a challenge to everywhere, everyone who's uh, watching this or watching this back later. Um, see if you can beat that. How many eggs can you lay? Um, write your answers on the back of a postcard, send them into to Beast. Look forward to seeing. Okay, now we want to show that there is a wing on the other side of the chicken, but we don't necessarily... We're not going to necessarily draw all the detail of it and things because this wing is largely going to cover it. So I'm just going to start a little bit up from the bottom of the, the neck on this side. And I'm going to curve up and down. And it's going to join on to this wing. Now you can see I've got some gaps between these wings. If you've got gaps like I have, you might find actually that some of that back wing would show through. Okay, if that's the case... You could just lightly keep on with the wing there and then see what it would look like if you were pretending that this front wing wasn't there at all. Drawing back and actually a couple of small bits might show up okay, through the gaps. So later on when we're drawing in pen I'm going to draw those little bits that show up through the gaps in and it will just make it look a little bit more 3D and a little bit more realistic. Okay. Uh, not that we're going for major realism, it is a cartoon after all, but sometimes it's good to have a little bit of uh, perspective and, and things showing up. Uh, a few little details like that can really can really make a picture. Cool, let's move on to drawing the beak. So, like with the beak on this side, we're going to start a little bit, we're going to roughly halfway up the circle that we drew for the head. It's going to be pointing out this side, to the left, and I'm going to do a bit of a curve. Okay and then curve back in. All right. And remember we go from the bottom, drawing a sort of teardrop shape round that 
joins onto the beak underneath like so and then join up to the top of the beak awesome we're going to draw the wattles again those weird fleshy bits i mentioned earlier that come hang underneath a, a chicken's beak again i've no idea what they're for i'm sure somebody uh, who's got mad chicken knowledge would be able to tell me um and we're just going to draw them underneath the beak one circle and then this time instead of doing a bit of a curve around to the right hand side of the circle we just drew we're going to do it to the left hand side because this chicken's facing the other way absolute doddle look at that okay eyes same again i'm going to draw two big bobbly eyes i'm going to come to where the top of the head meets the beak I'm going to draw one big eye up there, or oh, really big eye this time, and another big eye to the right. Put in his little pupils. Cool. He's looking like fairly mad chicken, this one. Uh, and then we're going to draw the comb again coming up. I might do a slightly less tall one this time, we'll see. But I might sweep it back a little bit more. And it's going to start in between the eyes, curving back. Okay, and then it makes those weird little sort of finger shapes that then join onto the head. Okay, lovely job. Give her the tail feathers again. And to do that, we're coming round the top of the chicken's body and then flick up, kick up those tail feathers, come down and make them a little bit zigzaggy, maybe a couple of zigzags joining underneath. That's looking good. Great. And we'll go for a couple of, uh, we'll give the suggestion of feathers again by doing our little Vs. So just do a couple, you can place them randomly, doesn't really matter where. Have them sort of pointing down. Maybe put on a couple on the underside of the chicken there. Lovely. Perfect. It's another spring chicken. We're going to need another spring. So same drill as last time. You're going to start on the underside of the chicken. I personally find it easier to start over towards the left-hand side because my hand prefers to loop this way. I find it slightly harder to loop that way. I don't know why, but um, find whatever is comfortable for you. And we're going to start looping around. Remember, we start quite a big loop. And as we come down, the loops get slightly narrower. And I'll maybe do one more. And then flick on the end and again we're going to make it a little bit thicker so you come slightly to the right of where you started the first loop or if you started over that side you'll come slightly to the left and just follow follow the path of the loop you drew before don't worry about overlapping that's absolutely fine don't worry if it's not all perfectly uh, parallel all the way around it adds character has character and when you get to the end remember it gets very narrow and it comes to a point there we are okay so that's two spring chickens and then we're going to add on the movement lines onto this one so again I'm sort of tapering in from the top following the taper of the uh, spring sort of angle that the springs coming in and do a few little humps here and there maybe a couple of lines coming up the bottom up there wherever you feel like so that's two and we're doing well. Excellent. Um, uh, what do you call a cockerel who wakes you up at the same time every morning? An alarm cluck. An, an, an alarm cluck. Yeah? Yeah, I thought that was a good one as well. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Final one. Let's do... I mean, a spring chicken is a young chicken. But let's do a really young chicken. What's the youngest chicken you can think of? an egg right so easy one to draw and once you've drawn one of these you can draw these all over the place go absolutely bananas for it so all i'm going to do is draw an egg shape and an egg is basically an oval that's wider at the bottom than it is at the top okay so you'll see what i mean here i might even draw a couple of these just to just to show you so i'm going to start at the top it's not it's not pointy at the top it's more curved okay but it's going to be an oval and I'm going to get wider at the bottom than I am at the top okay so balloon out at the bottom and then the top 
get slightly narrower. That's not a bad egg shape. I'm sure somebody could probably draw a better one than that. But you see what I mean? So it's not, um, I'm not drawing an oval like that necessarily. Okay, I'm giving it a bit of shape where it tends to be a little bit wider at the bottom than it is at the top. Okay, so I'm going to rub out this one because I don't want to confuse you guys by having that left on there. Uh, I mean, confuse myself more than you guys probably, but there we are. So, I mean, that was easy, wasn't it? Just drawing that one egg shape. Well, it's going to be even easier to add on a spring on the bottom. So this is a ridiculously young spring chicken. Again, you're going to draw the spring coming down, bigger loops at the start that just get slightly narrower as you come down. All right. And again, you could put the movement lines on by just a little sweeping line down and down. Maybe you might even want to do a couple of long ones down the bottom there. Pew, really show it firing off up. There we are. Perfect. Look at that. Easy. So, I mean, if you can draw that, which I'm absolutely certain you can draw that. If you could draw these two, that one, you could do standing on your head in your sleep. So give it a go. And then once you've drawn one, you can decorate the whole page. You can have eggs firing off all over the place. You can have one up here, have another one down here, maybe one coming up between the chickens, whatever you like. Okay, so we've drawn one chicken, two chicken, a third very young chicken, i.e. an egg. So time to pick up your pen. Grab your pen and we're going to start drawing round some of the lines we've drawn and we're going to end up rubbing out some of the lines that we drew to give us a really cool picture at the end. All right. If you're uh, if you're just tuning in now or uh, or watching this uh, uh, after it's been recorded, um, then welcome to uh, Bewilder Beast's drawing tutorial. We've just drawn all the pencil work on uh, drawing our spring chickens um, and we're going to go over now in pen so that we can rub out some of the what looks like quite messy pencil lines at the minute but it'll leave us with an awesome picture at the end that we can then take away and colour in. So uh, we'd love to see any pictures that you guys draw so please do tag Bewilderbeast on uh, Facebook by tagging in at Bewilderbeast Art or on Instagram at Bewilderbeast. Um, we'd love to see your pictures and uh, we're, we're planning to have maybe a bit of a Hall of Fame or something like that. We'll put your picture up uh, on, on the page, which would be awesome. So let's uh, let's start and we're going to start this middle chicken, the one we started with earlier. And we're going to start by drawing the eyes. So just trace around those eyes. I know this isn't where we started when we drew in pencil, but we're going to do things slightly different order for this and draw the little pupils. There we are. Trace the beak. Don't worry about overlapping some of the lines you drew earlier. You'll see which bits I'm uh, tracing over here. I'm going to join up that. I'm going to draw this little sort of sideways teardrop shape underneath to make the bottom of the beak. I'm going to draw the big round wattles. I love saying the word wattles. Really weird, but it's a great name. Great word. All right. Drawing those both. I'm going to draw the comb next. This big weird fleshy bit over the top. Again, the combs are often sort of red, uh, bright red and things, but they can come in other colours too. So uh, uh, chickens are weird and wonderful creatures. So you can get all sorts of colours and variations. All right, I'm drawing onto the head there. And then I'm just going to come see where I've stopped there when I've got to the, the circle that we drew earlier. Now I'm going to trace that circle a little bit, but only on the outside. Okay, so I'm going to start at the eye where the circle meets the eye, and I curve around, and then I'm not going to curve back underneath, I'm going to instead follow the line of the neck straight down, okay, so coming down there, like so, very good, and then I'm going to follow the top line over the back, and we're going to flick up the tail feathers that we drew earlier, not carrying on the... Uh, uh, oval round but up the tail feathers and give them a couple of little swishes up there and then we we'll join onto the body coming round underneath the chicken underneath the chicken's tummy marvelous do it in several bits if you need and then we're going to join on round the front of the chest and the neck i'm going to come and start underneath the wattles just because it's a slightly easier motion for my hand. 
you do whichever way you like, whichever way is comfortable. And there we are, we've got the sort of outline of the chicken. Don't forget the wings. So the wings next. We drew an oval for this wing earlier. We're going to miss out parts of this. So just follow as I do. With this little curved line we drew earlier, we're going to trace that and draw these weird sort of fingery, feathery wings. And following those lines round that we drew in earlier. Okay. And then we're going to follow the oval round, but we're only going to come till just past the, the halfway mark of this oval. And then we're going to stop. You see what I mean on there? Okay. Uh, let's draw in a couple of these little V's to give the impression of feathers. Wonderful. You can just trace over those. You can be quite loose with those, nice and quick. Great. And then, of course, the spring. So I'm going to start just by tracing the outside line of the spring first. Curving round. Don't worry about overlapping. We're going to overlap several times in this. Just tracing those lines down. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And to the flick at the end. And then the second line. Again, you're going to overlap which is all good and you can color this spring in later don't worry if it's not perfect it's just about having fun practicing experimenting have a bit of a laugh and we get to the end drawn into a point lovely uh let's flick on those movement lines don't worry if you don't trace them perfectly i've been quite loose with that and uh whew, chuck them on chuck them on the more random and ragged and things they look, sometimes the, the more the impression of movement is given. So that's great. Okay, going to go over to this fella next. All right. So again, I'm going to start at the eyes. And I'm going to draw the, uh, the big old eyes are drawn this fella. Lovely. And give them the two pupils. One there, one there. And draw the beak. I'm just tracing the beak. Okay, and then I'm going to curve round under into that sort of sideways teardrop shape. Join up the beak, join the beak to the eyes. Draw my wattles, which should be uh, joining onto the beak, onto the bottom of the beak roughly, or, or look like they're joining on just below there, or coming out just below there. That's one. I'm going to draw the second one round to the side like so. Okay, and I'm going to draw the comb again. So I'm just tracing the comb that we drew before. Nice and easy. Oh, look at that. Too easy. Okay. And again, where the head meets the eyes, I'm going to follow that line round. But instead of following the circle all the way around, I'm just going to follow down the back of the neck instead. Okay. So there we go. Down the back of the neck. Okay. Um, and this time... We follow, last time we followed all the way around the outside of the chicken. Got the wings in the way this time. So let's draw those wings in. So I'm doing this first wing. I'm just going to trace the lines of this wing. And uh, trace them as we drew drawn them before. Which is great. Okay, and then the second wing. Remember I said that if you've got gaps between the sort of feathers of this wing we just drew you might have little bits of the back wing showing through. So I'm going to try and roughly draw on a couple of those bits. So I'm going to follow the curve that we drew up here before. Okay. And then, but I'm going to stop when I get to this point on the wing, uh, when I get to where it joins the other wing. And then see the pencil line I've drawn through there. I'm going to ignore that. But where the gap is, I will draw a small bit of wing in there. And it might, mine might pop out over there come in and there's another little tiny bit showing through the gap and maybe that pops out there and then you can't see anything through the gap there uh, maybe there's one more line that would show through there so it's only roughly give you an idea it doesn't matter if it doesn't match up exactly um, but yeah, it just gives this the suggestion of uh, uh, the wing being on the far side uh, as well as this wing that we can see here um, if like me you've got a little gap 
between the wing and the back of the neck just follow the line of the body and join that up okay all right let's uh let's go on to the back draw our tail feathers that kick up lovely kick okay and follow on down joining onto the bottom of the uh, chicken's tummy and then you might find it easier to come up to the wattles and then join round till we join underneath so uh, that's what i'm going to do here wonderful excellent um, i'm sure you've all heard the uh, the joke about why did the cr uh, yeah i can't say it why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side uh, well i've never got that one but one that i do get a little bit more is why did the cow cross the road to get to the other side yeah i know i thought that was good as well uh, probably the best joke i've ever heard i think actually uh let's draw our little feathers on here next so our little v's i mean that was a joke in itself i don't think it is the best joke i've ever heard but yeah we'll see how we get on maybe it's the best joke you you've ever heard in which case uh i hope you enjoyed me telling it all right drawing our little v's on there that's all good um and then we're going to draw our spring once more so we're going to follow the lines round. Whoopa! Nice. Oh, it's too easy, isn't it? You guys are going to have amazing looking pictures. You'll be able to show them off to everybody you've ever met. Great. I'll be showing this off to everybody I've ever met, that's for sure. All right, second line. I'm going to do the same. Whoop, uh, a little bit close in, but it doesn't matter overlapping don't worry about overlapping nobody minds it's all good there we go coming all the way down the bottom and as we get towards the bottom narrows to a point marvelous well done and well, let's put in these little speed lines these little movement lines flick 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 just draw them nice and quickly don't worry you don't have to be too uh, exact or precise with them few little humps in just gives the impression of movement and then guys down to our uh, our third and final spring chicken the youngest spring chicken of them all uh, also known as an egg and we're just going to draw round the egg that we drew how easy is that absolute doddle so look how easy this is oh marvelous well done excellent um now with the egg being obviously quite a bit smaller than the chickens you'd hope so otherwise it'd be uh, some painful egg laying um, for the chicken uh, we're just going to draw the spring underneath whereas with the other springs we've drawn sort of double width if you like to make it look a little bit like a chunkier spring this one if you've got you know, your black pen ready to hand which you should do as we've just done all those if you haven't where have you been um, then we're just going to draw once round this spring uh, around the spring outline that we drew before and coming down and done and I wouldn't even worry about going around a second time this egg's small enough that it's gonna have a smaller spring it doesn't need quite as much power to be firing off what we do want to still do though is draw on these movement lines like so maybe a couple down the bottom oh, that's a good one and a couple of little humps to give a bit of extra speed and, and energy firing up over there Okay, and remember, if you draw one egg, I mean, you saw how easy it was to draw. Draw them all over the place. Have them pinging off all over the place, flying round. Uh, absolutely perfect. Who says uh, unborn chickens can't fly? Certainly not me. Right, now, the final, the final bit of this whole tutorial, the bit you've all been waiting for. Get your rubber. Uh, hopefully not broken like mine. I'm going to have to use a little broken bit of rubber. Oh, poor me. Um, and you're going to get your rubber and just rub over all the lines that we haven't drawn, uh, that we haven't drawn over in pen. And hopefully, in theory, you'll be left with a great fun picture that you can then colour in. All right. So I'm going to do that. Excuse me if the screen shakes a little bit. I do have the uh, the camera sort of attached to the table that I'm drawing on. Um, I should really come up with a better solution, a better way to do that. But there we are. You'll have to put up with it for this time. Okay, I'll try and be as quick as I can. Draw, uh, rub out all these little lines that are crossing over each other and make a mess of my beautiful picture. 
and in theory like I say you're going to be left with a nice fun picture of a couple of couple of chickens and an egg a couple of spring chickens and an egg firing round the farmyard which you can then colour in you even draw in a bit of the farmyard in the background if you want that's all good as well um, if you want to draw a bit of scenery um, and remember I, I've only drawn one egg here um, because I don't want to keep it for too long but you can draw as many eggs on here as you like because they're so quick and easy to do that I mean it'd be rude not to wouldn't it so I'll rub away some of those shavings I've not rubbed it out perfectly but you get the idea and uh, there we have it two spring chickens and a spring egg or very very young chicken uh, trapped inside that egg ready to hatch later I mean to be honest if it cracks too hard on something it'll be hatching before he knows it but um yeah well done guys excellent work excellent you color those in uh, we would uh, absolutely love to see them uh, in fact it would make me happier than a chicken on trampoline if you shared a picture of the chickens you drew by tagging uh, us in on Facebook uh, at Bulldebeast Art or at Bulldebeast on Instagram and we would love to see your finished pictures um, if you enjoyed today then please let your, your friends and family know uh, about this tutorial and that we've got several other equally daft during tutorials on our Facebook page so uh, tell them to head to uh, at Bulldebe Start on Facebook and uh, my the one thing I would recommend for today uh, I got these little uh, little cards made which um, can try and live my life by uh, don't be normal be absurd it's even got a little chicken on there how about that so enjoy guys um, and we'll we'll hopefully catch up with you again all right well done adios